Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And for those that are just stopping by today for the first time, thank you so much for clicking this video. Now today we're gonna be talking about Dollar Tree finds that are essential for your kitchen. So the first yeah. thing I have here is paper towel. Now this is only a dollar. I think in the supermarket this can be twice as much. It does says bounty. I'm not sure how this works, like when the Dollar Tree sells store brands, if it's the actual store brand or if it's like a knockoff version, I'm not sure. If you know, let me know below. But I don't know if this is the actual, actual bounty, but who knows and who cares. This is to buy or scrub and sponge. You know, these are obviously used to wash your dishes, pots and pans. I like to pick them up because they're very cheap. They aren't the perfect quality, like the best quality, but they're pretty durable. They get the job done. And I replace these very often. I use one for my kitchen and one for my bathroom. And again, they're only for a dollar. In the supermarket, these can run anywhere from two to four dollars. So if I could save there, why not? There's kitchen essentials which I got or some reusable gloves. Listen, your gloves do not have to be a name brand or a brand name, whatever you call it. Their gloves, they all do the same thing, all serve the same purpose, so why not get it from the Dollar Tree? These are reusable, so I love that. I could just wash it and um, reuse it again. Just try my best not to have any holes in them, but a perfect grab from the Dollar Tree. Four and five are gonna be tied together, but I love to get my kitchen towels from the Dollar Tree. Okay, now I love that they're very seasonal. So now in summertime, you know, you have all the brights and stuff and in fall time, they have the colors accordingly. This goes perfectly with my dining room decor. I may just show you a picture of what my dining room table um, looks like and the wall. So I have yellow on the wall and I have like uh, this mint green blue plates on the table and like the, um, the chairs and some of the hanging decor are brown. So this goes perfectly and this is going to go right on my stove and they are going to accentuate my dining room. So well, this is a staple in my kitchen. These are Brillo Basics Brillo Pads. I use them to scour and to scrub my pots and my pans and also my stove when I have like build up and rescue and these work very well. To me, they're just a one use. 10 come in a box. It used to be eight, but they've increased it, so I am so happy. You can find this in the grocery store as well. This is a brand, the actual brand, and it looks the same. It doesn't look like a knockoff version, so I love this Brillo pad. Thing I got for my kitchen is a spray bottle. Now, I use this to clean because I make my own DIY cleaners. I try my best to not use any harsh chemicals like bleach or Clorox or any of those, um, you know, brands. I'm switching over to wholesome ingredients, natural ingredients, because I just want a cleaner home with safe ingredients for me and my family and that disinfect just as good. So if you want, I can make a video of what I used to clean my home and I could make a DIY video of this stuff that I use. So these bottles are very inexpensive, they're durable. I have one for my kitchen and one for my bathroom. And another scrubbing essential. I do not use this to scrub my pots and pans. I just use this to scrub my sink area and inside my sink and this works fantastic. I can use it to scrub my stove too if I need to, but I already use the Brillo Basics. But these are pretty sturdy. The bristles, they do not come out after a use or two. And I love this little section right here, this little part, because it goes in the crevice and corner of like my sink area, like in between the wall and the sink. You know that little gap. Stuff gets in there, okay, build up. So I use this to clean it out and it works perfectly. I also use this to scrub my cutting board if I am cooking meat. I do not use my, my scrubbing sponge or any other thing. I just use this and disinfect this and keep it moving. So the last thing I got from my kitchen is some baking soda. And this is also great for bathroom as well. So this, Arm & Hammer. I'm pretty sure everybody knows this brand, that Carrie Bacon Soda. I usually get the unscented one and I put it in my refrigerator, but I saw this one. This says Carpet Order Eliminator. I do not have any carpets in my home, but I do like the scent of this. It's not strong, it's very subtle, but it's very clean and fresh. So I will be adding this to my cleaning solution 
that goes into my spray bottle that I showed you. Uh, baking soda is wonderful, wonderful. It neutralizes odor. I also put some of this in my garbage bin, the bottom of my garbage bin. I use this to also wash my garbage bin out like every three or four days. Use this washing the dishes, just like, it's just an all around powerhouse, okay? This is amazing. And I'm using this in my bathroom as well. You need baking soda in here at home. And this is perfect because it's from the Dollar Tree. It's the same brand, the exact same thing. That's so. it for my kitchen. I just have two bonus items that I did grab. I just want to show in this video. These are for my bathroom. And this is called Lime Away. I've never heard of this brand before, but I purchased it and it did just as good as the other store brands. Listen, I'm not that big on spending a lot of money for chemicals because chemicals are cheap. When you're spending a lot of money on chemicals or store brand products, you're literally just paying for the name because there are other products out there that contain the same ingredients for a fraction of the price. And what I like to do too is to read the ingredients label. So if I'm comparing like a store brand to a generic brand, I will look at the ingredients. And if it carries the exact same thing in the exact same portion, I usually get the generic brand because why not, right? And I do this for buying painkillers sometimes or other um, like rubbing alcohol if I'm in Target. I usually get the Target brand over the the other store brands okay i don't want to venture too much off the topic here but this works fine in my toilets and i also put some baking soda in there let it all you know assimilate and i put some vinegar and i scrub it all together when you go to the supermarket you get toilet scrubbers for like five six dollars and i'm not about that life i am not sorry the last thing I got from my bathroom is this Comet. I believe that this is this is one of the other chemicals that I use per se. Like I'm still transitioning, but for right now I still use this in my top area and that is it. I will be transitioning and making my a powdery form of cleanser. You could just you know like shake it everywhere. I like this for that. I use this in my sink as well. But this is great. It has a bleach but it's not just strong over pound bleach. Everybody knows comment. Get it at the Dollar Tree. Okay guys so that wraps up this video. Those are my top items that I get from the Dollar Tree for my kitchen and some items for my bathroom. If you like this video give me a thumbs up. If you like to see more videos like this give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments. I will be making more Dollar Tree haul videos um, because they're fun to do and I will be also making my DIY cleaning solution and essentials. So if you're interested in transitioning from chemicals to more natural based cleansers, give me a comment and give me a thumbs up too. But thank you again so much guys and we finally hit a thousand subscribers. I'm so happy for that. Go us. Now we're on our way to 2,000 subscribers. So I'm so, 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 so grateful for all of you for watching. But until next time, 